Hi everyone, my name is Otis, your digital marketing analyst. You're welcome to our channel where we deliver digital marketing solution that will help you to run your business online, drive relevant traffic, and run a successful digital marketing campaign uh, that will help to create that visibility that you need, also increase your sales and return on, in, on, on investment. So in this video, you will learn how to get Google to quickly index and rank your site. Are you frustrated because your site is not showing up on Google and other search engine? Here is why, and we'll show you how to fix it. So Google offers uh, multiple ways or different ways that uh, you can uh, provide, you can help Google to actually rank your site and index it by providing information, just like I have said before. So one of those steps is claiming your business with Google My Business. So claiming your business means that you want to prove to Google that you own that business because you are requesting for information that will be personal to the owner of the business. And in turn, Google require you to meet that criteria of proving that you own that property and that property is your site or your blog. So we're going to go through the step how you can claim your business with Google My Business. So I'm going to take you into the Google My Business uh, to claim your local business. So claiming your local business with Google My Business enables your local business information to show up in Google search result pages like the Google Knowledge, uh, the Google Knowledge Panel and the Google Map. So once you sign up for this, for the Google My Business, so your information, your business information will be displayed in areas like this. It will show your business logo uh, or image that you want to represent your business, then show your business name and other relevant information. And you can only fill in this relevant information if you sign up for Google My Business. So uh, when you get to your, go to your browser, just type Google My Business and it's going to show uh, something like this. So once you click that, the reason why this will also help you to engage with your customers for free. This is absolutely uh, free. So you don't need to pay for traffic that comes in through uh, your Google My Business. So if you have not signed up for Google My Business, just create your Gmail account if you don't have a Gmail account. So once you have your Gmail account, you go to this point and click sign in, uh, sign up. So it's going to request you to actually use your Google, uh, your Gmail account or if you just want to get started so you can actually hit this so the same way so it's going to request you for you to go use uh, your google my uh google my business if you're just joining we are talking about how to get google to rank your sites quickly so uh the next step which we talked about which is step two is uh the registering to sign up with Google Search Console to register your your website. So once uh, to to sign up with Google Console, put your Google Con Google Search Console on your browser, just like as I have done. So you click the Google Search Console. So it takes you to it brings you to this window. So the why you have to sign up for Google Search Console is just for you to have access to your search data because the search data is very very important for your visibility because it it helps you to measure your site search traffic and performance and if there are issues on your website uh, the Google Search Console will report that to you so that you'll be able to fix those issues that could affect your the user experience on your website so we are signing in into uh, Google Search Console uh, you for you to sign up into Google Search Console, you need a Gmail account. So if you have a Gmail account, so it takes you straight into the Search Console. I just want to give you an insight of how the Search Console look like. So these are the performance activities that you can actually look how your site is performing. And uh, this is the site map. So once you sign up, if you have not submitted a site map, because when you do an update, any updates on your website, you want to notify Google so that Google can index it and rank it immediately rather than waiting uh, periodically for Google to crawl 
an, an index your site. So that's the one of the fastest way to have Google to, to rank your site. So what you do, you click here and you can submit your site map here. Please just copy the entire URL. You see this error here? It was just an experiment. I just copied part of it and it said it's an error because it is not complete. So just complete, copy the entire URL here and put it here and uh, hit submit. So once you do that, it submits it to Google and uh, uh, for uh, indexing. So um, we're going to talk more because uh, like as I said, for Google to index your site and keep it in a database for search, you must uh, you must make sure that uh, all technical difficulties are taken care of because these technical difficulties actually affect the user experience on on your site. And this is one of those factors that uh, Google and other search engines are looking for. But if you want this to happen quickly, so you need to fix all these uh, difficulties and all these challenges that uh, your site might uh, might have. So um, that your site might have. So these are. All, this is how the Google Google Search Console, this is how it looks like. So you can check your usability in this. You can check uh, if there are issues. It tells you that there are issues here. So, and uh, well, there are coverage issue, it tells you. So all these are important for your visibility. So you want your site to have a clean health. And once it have that clean health, it makes it easy for Google to to index your site. So if you have not signed up for Google uh, Google Search Console, please just do that now because it's going to have play a huge role in your visibility in optimizing your site. So um, having said that, we're going to move to the next step that will help Google to rank your site quickly and immediately. Step three is adding a schema markup or what you call the structured data to your website. The structured data is a, it's a kind of a semantic uh, vocabulary, just like what you call the piece of code that you add to your website to enable you add uh, detailed information to your website that help the search engine to understand your web pages uh, and classify your web pages for a better result. So when a user search for a query or search for that information, the search engine will have informative, detailed uh, information to actually return to the user. So that is why it is very, very important for your SEO. So I'm going to show you how this schema uh, data or uh, schema markup data or the structured data how it looked like using a real life example. So I just Google uh, just a grocery shop that is near me. So I'm just going to show you what uh, the result that uh, it returns to me. Uh, so this is a stop and shop grocery store that is near me. So I assume that I was just searching for an information for the grocery shop near me and it's returned different information. And I'm just choosing, this is a clear example of what uh, uh, structural data means. Because uh, like I said, that it helped Google uh, to understand the page content on your, on your web page, providing detail about the page and classifying each of this content. An example also of uh, structured data features uh, uh, that can help to enhance your site appearances, like your site logo. If you see here, you also have the site logo. So then you have the breadcrumbs. These are the breadcrumbs that will help to uh, improve your your site appearance on 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 the search on the search on search engine. So it is very very important because uh, it provides uh, better search result. It offers better search results and also additional uh, information to users. So this will also improve your return on investment, increase your sales, because uh, it is very, very inf inf informative. So if you have not actually uh, done this on your site, please just do that because it is uh, it's very, very important. Like I said, result uh, research has shown that web pages with structured data markup can rank up to four position on the on on search result pages higher than those uh, those web pages that are not utilizing the data markup or what we call the schema markup. So this is how it's it shows. This is why it is called a st structured data. 
because these are inform it is informative. So I hope this helped. So we're going to the next uh, next step. So to, so that uh, you'll be able to rank your Google will be able you will be able to help Google to rank your site immediately because uh, it is all about SEO, it's all about visibility on the internet. So let's go. Finally, uh, step uh, step four is Google Analytics. So Google Analytics gives you insight of how your audience are performing on your website. Why is it important for uh, for your search engine ranking, for search ranking? It is important because that information that it gives to you about the activities on your website, how the customers, your audience are engaging with your website will help you to improve each of those pages, just like the, the bounce rate. If, if the bounce rate on a particular page is high, so you can go back and tweak and make some changes on that uh, on that particular page or that specific page because user experience is one of the ranking factor now but that Google used to rank your site. So and you need to make sure that you fix those issues. So I'm going to go a little bit uh, detailed to show to just tell us how this uh, uh, Google Analytics uh, Google Analytics work. So, uh, like I said, in summary, it uh, is the is a is an, an analytical tool. is a web analytical tool that actually track and report your web traffic. In summary, so and uh, demonstrate how to analyze your audience performance. I made mention of engagement, uh, acquisition, behavior, and conversion. So it also uh, lets you set up goals and campaign tracking because you want to know everything that is happening on your website, because that will give you the information, the data to improve on your site. That's why the Google Analytics is very, very important. If you have not uh, integrated that into your analytical tool, uh, there are other analytical tools that you can also use. Uh, but as if you're a beginner or newbie, uh, this is free. So it's a free tool that you can actually use to begin with, to begin to analyze your content. So, and I strongly believe that this is helpful. So if you adopt what we've mentioned so far, that will help Google to actually rank your site because uh, you'll be putting all the bits and pieces that Google wants. And Google like when uh, you provide them uh, the roadmap uh, to your website, giving them that information that they need. So it makes it it makes it easy for them to rank your site quickly. So I just want to say thank you for watching this uh, for watching this video, and I look forward to see you in our subsequent videos. But if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get an alert when we release our new video. And you are the reason why we are on this channel. So again, I say thank you. Have a great day.